Hello everybody, I'm Nate, and we are playing not Degan Rampa, but Corpse Party. The door is shut tight. Don't do anything. The door is rusted, it won't open. Can I go upstairs? Oh, I can't. The door is shut tight. I tried to open it because the door should be open. So I tried knocking. I tried ding-donging. I took a deep breath and I mentally prepared myself for what I was about to attempt. And I grabbed the steel doorknob. You can die so many ways in this. Eek! Bet. Bret. My phone. God, don't scare me like that. See, I figured she'd say that. Who would be calling me at this hour? It's like 2 a.m. Huh? A no number. Oh, it's got to be creepy. Hello. Don't go in the other door. Go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. No. Let me just put my phone away. 0424-444-444-444-444-444-444. What the hell? The number disappeared from the screen as if the call had never been placed. No. What? 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 That's what she says. Is my phone on the fritz or something, piece of crap? Stupid kitty piece of crap. And then she shuts it away. Okay. No, it's open. Okay, okay, good. I made the right choice by just mess messing with the door a whole bunch. I want someone to die. It would be funny if someone died that isn't me. Hello. Is there anyone there? Is there a demon? No. It's so dusty. Bleh. How many years has it been since somebody actually lived here? Ah, chew! <laughs> Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. Is anyone home? Hello? Are you there? <laughs> Should I take a shit? No, I'm just kidding. Take off my shoes. Ooh. Yeah, take off your shoes. It's only customary. It's Japan, after all. Leave your shoes at the door. Yeah. Welcome home. Meh. That was totally the voice. I hope I die. Yeah, gasp. I hope I'm making this game scary for you, everybody. That's right. I need to learn from my mistakes at Yoshi's house. Oh, my tummy. Too much meat in my gut. This time I've prepared. With the voice recorder sis used for her research. M -m 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 November 10th, 2008, 7.48 p.m. Beginning investigation of Makina Shinozaki's apartment. Okay, so I guess this takes place in the past. Deep breath. Deep breath. I know if it's asterisks like that, I'm supposed to go... <gasps> But I'm not going to go, <sighs> I'm actually going to say deep breath because that's funnier. No, I'm fine. I can do this. Do it. No. I've been to that school and that house. Okay. We're going to save again just to be safe because I don't want to die. Uh, oh, shit. No. No, we're right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I hope we die, guys. It's a horror game. The Switch does nothing, as expected. This apartment doesn't seem to be getting any power right now. Okay, fine. No, okay. I'm scared. Oh, that's my inventory. I hit triangle accidentally. Okay, so options. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, it's just, just the same option. So there is ten endings to this game. Hopefully in 31 parts I can get an ending. But if not, guys, then I'm sorry. And if you guys want me to continue playing this, I will. If not, whatever. Here we go. This game is like the other two games I'm playing, Had a Baby, because it's got Resident Evil aspects and it's got Rampa aspects, which is great. I'm actually glad I chose these three, because then it all connects together in one hodgepodge. The way Yamamura Mora Mora was talking about Kino Shinoki is dead. No, is anybody here? Is anybody here? But her appliances seem to be completely intact. Wait, she even left her Pop-Tart in the toaster. Good she chose s'mores! She must be evil! Has anyone even been here since her passing? Whimper. Damn it. This is scary. No, it isn't. Not yet. I want to see demons. Give me some demon action. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the fridge. What's in the fridge? There was a photo hanging from the freezer door. 
Let's pick it up. What is it? Oh, it's a forest with a noose. That's a nice photo, though a blurry and hard to make out. It's hard to make out. It seemed to be the forest thick with mist, along with one additional detail that made it much, much worse. A noose. Who put a noose here? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Nah. Nah. No. Why? I want to go home, damn it. I'm scared. Clues. I'm looking for clues. But where? How? Nah. Hello? Anyone there? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Do I? I'll just try to take some mockiness things back with me. I guess as many as I can carry. Okay. In the corner formed by the wall the refrigerator is in the sink. There's an extremely disturbing amount of mold growing. Just breathing in the air nearby feels hazardous to one's health. There aren't really any signs of food anywhere, however. Maybe Makino didn't eat that much. In the corner formed by the wall, there is a blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing. Let's look at the table. On the tiny kitchen table sat numerous prescription bags and instructions. The name written on every bag was Makina Shino Nino Nino. Guess that clinches it. This is definitely Makino's apartment. Take the bags with you. There doesn't seem to be anything of note on the shelves. Cool. No, 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 no. On the tiny kitchen table sat numerous prescriptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this door. Squeaky. Is anyone in the second room? Knock, knock. Hello. Scary demon face. Ooh, something shiny on the table. Items lying about can be obtained by examining them. Deal. There may be hidden compartments or spaces on shelves and such as well, so be sure to examine everything very carefully. I do that anyway in all games. Even though this is a horror game, I could see myself in the mirror. I looked worried. Okay, at least the mirror is pretty good. There's something lying on the table. It's batteries for my flat torch. <laughs> here we go. Who left? Ugh. Let's see if anything's on the... Okay, what's over here? Squeaky. Hmm? What's this? It was a small white box made out of paper. So small. It's so small. In fact, th that I could fit it in the palm of my hand with room to spare. I was light. It was light as a feather, too. Open the box or put it back. Ooh. Um, open the box. What's in the box? Great. No. Nah. Ah. I know you're scared of dead birds. Why is there another one in here? This is like condemned too. I have to pick it up, but really I don't want to. Good thing I didn't put it in my pocket. Whimper, whimper. Ah, I can't do it. Moan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I closed my eyes and I put my hands together, saying a little prayer for the poor animal. And then I left the box where it lay and got back to my feet. Who put all these dead birds here? Is this the door? I should check the shelves on here first. Okay. Didn't I already check all the shelves? The door seemed to contain civil insurance documents, as well as an official name stamp. These are... I can't take these. I wonder if there are any departments listed, though. Or if there's anything interesting in here. Let's see. Um, on the photographs. The top photograph on the stack is depicted a young woman with a hairstyle decidedly not of the modern era. Is this Makina? The next photograph showed a different woman smiling widely. Her clothes were actually quite beautiful, and her eyes looked almost lifelike. On the paper, they could suck you in. Oh man, I flipped through each of the remaining pictures, seeing mostly just more of the same until... A dead bird! Ugh. Oh shit, she's gay! I figured. Makina Rocky and Yoshi and Yokohama. Yoshi Shinozaki. That's Sachiko's mother. What about the other woman? Is that his other mom? So does that mean this girl is... Either it's his other mom or it's his sister. Who knows? We're going to find out, aren't we? Anything is possible. Anything else on the shelves? There's nothing else on the shelves. Okay. Let's go through this door. I already explored this room because she's letting me leave. Spooky face. It's a spooky disgrace. Oh, man. To the bedroom. To the walls. The middle of the room. A twin-sized futon neatly laid out. It's top covered with a... Uh, the top was convexed. As if someone has were sleeping in it. In fact, that's exactly what it looked like, almost unmistakably. And right on top of it, so perfectly a cube, a box about 10 centimeters across on all sides. And bright red, like a Shinto Tori gate. Which would have been a lot more interesting if it weren't still scared. Staff, I weren't still scared out of my mind, but I thought there might be something under that cover this whole time, huh? Whimper. Yay. Just pick up the fucking box. It's probably another dead bird. Do, do, do. Pant. I have to pant. Take this black with me. Pant. Okay, I'm not going to open it. No. Gah. 
Oh, what what's she doing? Is she rubbing it against herself? It won't open. Oh my god, is that a demon? Nah. Oh my god, it is a demon. Ah. Wheeze. Ah ah. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. Ah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're scared. I understand. I don't need to imitate your screams. No. Ah. It was a silhouette of a human being, all black, save for two perfectly round cutouts positioned halfway. Oh my god, it's talking to me. I, I know I don't want to go, but I have to go. Round cutouts positioned halfway across the head, glinting in on a hearty light. There were no signs of life, no detail anywhere along with the shadowy figure except in those eyes. But those eyes were very much alive. They were undeniably the eyes of a human. Of a human. Oh man, it's walking my way and I'm farting. Eek! Oh shit. Get out of the house. Get out of the house, woman. You don't need to pick up any more boxes. Someone was taking a nap in her house. Ah. Uh, oh, crap. As if in response to my worst fears, I suddenly caught sight of a small girl in the black dress standing. Small, tall woman in a black dress working for the FBI. Ah. <laughs> Great. Oh, my God. Hesitantly taking closer look, it was actually me reflecting on the mirror. But not just me. There was a black shadow behind me. And it was coming closer. Pant. Gasp. <laughs> I panicked, and I rolled around, and my light immediately went out. No, oh, I'm stupid. Duh! Yeah, you're stupid, Ayumi. I was completely sh shrouded in darkness, as if whatever I'd seen had fully enveloped me. No! No, 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 no! Put the batteries in your torch, you idiot. Stop running into shit. No, smush. No! Nah. I'd stepped on something soft and squishy. Probably another bird. Unconsciously, I paused for a split second, pondering what it may what it may have been. But my de facto conclusion was, I don't care. I need to get the hell out of here. I bet it was another fucking bird. Get open the door, you moron! Get out of here! Da! Draw! Why is it locked? I don't remember locking it. No, please, not now. Open, open, open! Feeling around along the glass door surface, I finally found what seemed to be the on the handle. I tried in vain to turn it, only to realize it couldn't turn because. Oh shit. Gasp! What? Why won't my right hand open? I didn't have to ask. My dogs were barking, though I could feel and see it. My right hand was being clasped shut by tiny ghostly hands of a white hued child. No! Nah. Yeah, I know you're scared. I shook my arm violently and blah blah blah. Okay. No! Nah. But my closed right hand still wouldn't open. Gah! Why? Why can't I open it? I know. I had to get out of there. That was a paramount. Clenched fist or no, I needed to leave before something worse happened. Panicked, I flung open the glass door. Whoosh. She broke that shit. She was like, Get out of my fucking sight, door. You don't need to be here anymore. And then I tripped on the bed again. And then I took a sip of energy drink. Ah! Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. This is, should be the way out and... Oh. I think all these energy drinks are making this game better. Hello. No. I don't know why this is horror. I'm not scared yet. I'm more, I'm, I'm kind of laughing at how weird this is. I fell back completely sick to my stomach. My heart was pounding so hard and so fast and so thick and so hard. I was <laughs> I felt convinced I was going to have a heart attack and die at the very least. I knew I was about to lose consciousness. Don't go, 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 don't go. No, no, I'm gonna have sex with a ghost. This is the scariest thing. <laughs> oh man, I'm bleeding out of my mouth. As if to confirm just how done for I was, my nose began bleeding profusely. I had no doubt at all anymore this was the end. Gah. No. Shinosaki. I wanna be scared. Yeah, Shinosaki, hey. S snap on event. Class rip. <laughs> oh no. That you all saw me falling over in this house. Hino Nino Nino moved my worn, limped body over onto the tatami flooring, and I carefully sat me up. I regained consciousness right away, and I was immediately met with the worrying gazes of Kino Nino Nino, Mochito, and Naka Naka Naka. Thank goodness you're safe. Nakashima wiped tears from her eyes. You guys, I was so relieved, so very relieved to see my friendos. I started crying as well. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, Shin Shinazaki, what the hell do you think you were doing coming in here by yourself? Slugger. Dumbass. No! I... 
I had to. I just had to. Why, you dumb broad? Kinoshimu. Oh, man. <laughs> As what he says, he just honks all nice. <laughs> Satoshi. Let's leave this to Yoshi. Yoshi. Yoshiki. I, I, I was I, I was the cause of this. The cause of what? Everything. Everything's my fault. All our friends are gone. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Ah. I was sobbing like a baby. My face must have been a mess. And my voice came out hoarse and in short bursts. Ah, how is this your fault? Huh? Because uh, it was my idea to do uh, Shishiko Ever After. I'm the one who brought it to school and had everyone die. Everyone's day to participate. That was the start of it all. It was my fault. How can you possibly take sole responsibility for that? No. No. Hey, we're a team. Like that song by Lord. Shinozagi, you know that, right? No. Hmm? I sheepishly nodded my head and then I looked down. I didn't want to meet his gaze. Well, if you know that... Then don't forget it! Stop talk, Stop taking everything on yourself. Let me put it to you. Let me put it in you. Real simple. Don't you ever think for one second, not even one second, that this is all your fault. Because you no more. You're not going to blame. You're not to blame, okay? Stop <coughs> blaming yourself, damn it. Because you knew me. Everybody... Yeah, rock your body. Everyone else feels the same way too, right? Yeah, your shinky's right. Wah. Wah. He's exactly right. You should always try to take everything on by yourself. That's why you have three NPCs to help you. I, 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 I didn't want you guys to get dragged into this. I tried to do it myself so you wouldn't have to, but I was scared. Me. I just couldn't. I couldn't do anything. God, you suck. God, you're so dense. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You did good. Just don't do it again. Not without us. I'm dense? That's mean. Oh, uh, no, no. That's not exactly what I meant. Look at my judo hands. No, uh, Thank you. No, uh, no, I didn't entirely believe them. I was, in fact, this whole mess started when I let everyone in the Sachiko Ever After Ritual of and I appreciated their words. So she sounds like everybody. No. We're the, we're the ones who made it out. We have no choice but to come to terms with what happened. It's part of us now. Ah. And yes, I'm going to end all my sentences with the, with the freaking, I'm Carl. I'm Lenny. Ah. Honk. Those honks are funny. We don't have to accept it, though. Yeah, we, we can still fight this. We can try to set things right, even if it's only by the slimmest of margins. Ah. I think it's fair to say that we feel all feel the same way. You too, too, class rep. <laughs> you claim you couldn't do anything. However, but I'm not quite convinced that that's true. And, and she's also possessed by a demon. We're just going to say that. I didn't recognize my voice at all, and I was just a little perturbed. And no one else seemed to be startled by it. Oh, no, but it belonged to a girl I'd never seen before wearing an unusual outfit. And there she is. You must be a Yumi. I'm glad to see no harm has befallen you. Who are you? Bitch! You're just a new girl! Yumi-yumi-yumi! Shinoko, this is the person who tipped us off about where you were headed and led us here. Oh. Her name is Aiko Niwa. That's her name. Don't wear it out. I'm sorry to be so presumptuous. I took the liberty of looking onto or locking looking into you. I'm what you might call an intelligent agent, I suppose, regarding matters of the supernatural. Meh. As a little sister of... <sighs> I suppose the quickest way to explain it would be to say that I'm a friend of Naho. That's what I do, bitch. A friend of Naho's? And you know this too? Yes. Your sister, Hinoi, made quite the name for herself in this plane. No. <laughs> Yumi, your right hand... What have you been doing with it? Have you been picking your nose? Stop picking your nose. Are you not able to open it? Because you keep picking your nose. My right hand had been clasped shut this whole time. And I almost forgotten about it. I tried to open it again, but I still couldn't. M no, I can't. Sorry, bitch. I'll open it for you. Hmm. Let me see it. Kinu grabbed my hand and tried to pry my fingers open. 
Damn, her hand. She's got a rock star grip. No, ow, that hurts. Ugh, there's no point in forcing it. It should open naturally. That's what she said. When the time is right, that's what she said. You just need to be patient. That's what she said. Whoosh. Oh, wait, I said whoosh in a not digging rompa visual novel. I'm so sorry. Oh, what's this now? Meep. Obviously, it's a red demon box. Oh, man. She attempted to open the box for just a moment, but her efforts proved to be in vain, just as mine were. Yeah. This is rather intriguing. Like your hand, it simply refuses to show us what it contains. How fascinating. Aiko was mesmerized by the unopening box. She seemed desperate to understand what force kept it sealed, almost giddy at its unspoken prospects of what it could mean. Such spiritual energy. This is wonderful. May I hold on to this? If only for tonight. Only tonight. Ding, 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 ding. Fight the break of demons. Come tomorrow. Tomorrow there will be demons. I believe I might be able to open it once I've returned home. Meh. Okay. I had the feeling that this was the least request. That uh, it was the statement she would never have taken no for an answer. Meh. Well, it's getting late tonight, late tonight, ding, 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 fight the break of dawn, let's talk tomorrow, we'll meet after school, there you go, that works, meh, hopefully I can save guys, this is a slightly longer episode, but that's fine, that just means more episodes for you, that's all that means, that night, after I returned home, I stood in front of my mirror and did cool action poses, I just kept trying to open my right hand, with every bit of strength and energy I had to it, now I could punch with all of my might. No! 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 There's obviously a ghost that wants you to fist somebody. Well, by punching them, I mean. I don't mean the, uh, the second phonetical definition. Down my fingers, it opened! There's a dead bird in there. Meh? What's this? I found my heterophore closed hand were teeth? Human teeth, from the looks of it. Very small baby teeth, two of them. The roots of each tooth were embedded deep within my palm, and I was bleeding quite a bit as a result. Ouch! Why? Why are there baby teeth in my hand? I don't know. We'll find out later. Why are there sparkly baby teeth in my hand? I have no idea. I want to find a save candle. Yeah! Yeah, the prologue's already done. Hooray! And we're only on episode three. That's good. Nice. EVP entries from Hino Shiaki have been unlocked. Sweet. New Encyclopedia Obscura entries have been unlocked. W.I. Kisarigi Academy Yoshi. Grimoire. Sachiko Ever After. Yui Shinido. Iyumi. Saiko. Shimoran Jaku. South Apartments. Mayu. Naomi. Satoshi. Yuga. Satorako. Takamine. Yoshiaku. Hajime. We got another Hajime. Mirai. Rio Candle. <laughs> the Candle is the most important character in the game. Would you like to save? Yes. Why wouldn't I? It's the end of the episode anyway, damn it. All right, let me save. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. So we are on Chapter 1. We are on Chapter 1. Okay. Okay. So hopefully when I turn this on again, we will be on chapter one. And I have enough time to do one more episode on the next installment of Corpse Party Blood Drive. We're going to do chapter one. There are 11 chapters. We'll see how far we can get in Spooktober. But we're just on part four, and we already did the prologue, so let's see what happens in chapter one on the next part of Corpse Party Blood Drive. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next baby tooth. <laughs>